Good morning, kindergarten. I hope you're having a great day so far. It is Mrs. Merritt again, and I'm going to teach Module 4, Lesson 18. And our objective today is I can find both add-ins. Ooh, add-ins is a big, big word. Add-ins means parts, and we've already been doing that, really. We've already been figuring out the two parts to solve a word problem. Now, there's something special about today's lesson. Today's lesson, it's a bunch of stories. So we're going to listen to two stories today, and we're going to have to figure out the add-ins or the two parts of our story. So for today's lesson, you will need a whiteboard or some paper and a pencil, and we are going to get started. So unpause me when you have those things and we will start. All right, so this is just what I want you to watch. I'm trying to show you that for the word problems, there's not always numbers that we're given. Sometimes we're just given the whole. Okay, so this problem says, Sam bought eight pieces of fruit at the farmer's market. So we know our whole is eight because that's the maximum or the most he bought. He loves apples and oranges, so he bought some of each. Use some, um, use the plate and show his fruit on, fruit on the plate. So look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one way to eight, make eight. Four apples and four oranges equals eight pieces, pieces of fruit. Now I can't do just all apples or just all oranges because it says he bought some of each. So he bought both. But what I could do is return an apple to get an orange and return another apple to get another orange. We don't know how many of each he got because all we know is that he got eight. So we have to use our imaginations today and try to figure out the different ways to make the number we're given. So you guys did a great job last week at working on making all the ways to make six, seven, eight, nine, and even ten. So I have no fear that we'll be able to do this lesson easy peasy. Okay, here's our first story. So I want you to listen first. So put down your paper or pencil or your whiteboard. And we're going to listen first. It says, the students were playing with seven balls on the playground. They accidentally kicked some of the balls into a big puddle, and now they are muddy. What is one way the balls might look now? Okay, it says talk about it with your partner, but if you have mom or dad or grandma and grandpa or a big sister or a big brother or a cousin, anyone at home, you can turn and talk to them about what you think maybe our picture would look like and then unpause me. Okay, I can't wait to hear what you talked about. We know that there are seven all together. And that is it. That's all we know. So it's our job to figure out the different ways these balls could look. Okay? So some are muddy, some are not. Oh, look at it. They went back to whole equals part plus part for today. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to do our whole. And we have our three number sentences. So let's fill in our whole. Right now, we know it's always going to be seven. That's a terrible seven, but it's okay. We will fix it. Okay, seven. Okay, what I need you to do right now is pause me, and I need you to draw seven circles three different times. Or if you have a whiteboard, just draw it once. And you can redraw it again when we go on to each number sentence because we're going to do three different ways to make seven. So go ahead and pause me. And if you're using paper and pencil, draw these seven circles three times. So you'll have a row of seven, 
of another row of seven and another row of seven. Or if you have a whiteboard, just go ahead and draw seven. I am so glad you're back. Okay, so we're just gonna do a few different ways to make seven. When we did the exercise of all the different ways to make seven, we know there are a bunch of different ways. But I'm just gonna give you some numbers and I'm gonna see if you can match the picture to go with it and then the number sentence. Let's do the first one together. Let's color in, or X off, it's probably the easier way, three balls, and they will be the muddy ones. Okay, so how many are muddy? Three. So seven equals three plus, and how many aren't muddy? One, two, three, Four. Very good. Now we always check our work. So put up three fingers on one hand, put up four fingers on the other hand, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Okay. Now I want you to cross out one more. Someone came along and kicked one more in. And then another friend came along and kicked another one in. Oh, so let's see how many muddy ones we have now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so seven equals how many muddy? Five. Plus how many aren't muddy over here? Two, very good, one, two. Seven equals five plus two. So put up five on one hand, put up two on the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Okay, we've got one more sentence to do. I'm gonna kick another one into a muddy puddle. So how many do we have kicked into the muddy puddle? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven equals how many were muddy? Six plus how many aren't muddy? One, put up six, put up another finger, and let's see if we're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Okay, you guys did such a good job. I think you're ready for another story. So erase your whiteboards or flip over your piece of paper for our next story. Okay, so this one we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you do on your own. Okay, I know that's quick to do one problem together and then to do on your own, but I think you can do it. So if you need to rewatch what we did before, that's totally totally fine. And then you can come back to this if you need to, okay? So, our story says, Cora went to a birthday party. At the party, she saw a dish of eight jelly beans. So all that we know is there are eight jelly beans. Some were red and some were green, okay? So some were red and some were green. I'm going to color in some red and some green, and I would like you to match the picture to a number sentence. So I'm gonna color them in, and you're going to write a number sentence about the picture. All right, so I am sorry about the coloring, but it is not easy to color on a computer screen. So what I want you to do is pause and look at this picture. Count how many red and how many green. And then write your number sentence. All right, let's see if we got the same answer. So remember, today we're writing whole equals part plus part. So whole is everything we have all together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight as our whole. And then how many red do we have? One, two, three. And how many green do we have? 
one, two, three, four, five. Let's just double check our work. Put up five fingers. Put up three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay. Now, if you're ready for a super challenge, what I want you to do today is two different things. I want you to go ahead and draw me eight jelly beans, some red and some green. And what I want you to do with those is write number sentences. All the different ways you can make eight. Because we know that eight equals three plus five is not the only way to write this. Just like these weren't the only ways to make seven, okay? Okay, for a little more fun to do today, if you have finished your jelly beans and handed them into Miss Shivani, Mr. T, or myself, or on Google Classroom, if you've done that, you can go ahead and do this. This is a little game, and I'll post the link online. It's called Turtle Diary Math Stories. What you're going to do is this. I'll show you. Play. Okay, so let's do the zoo. You can pick whatever Read story, story you want. And click on the numbers to fill in the blank. Oscar went to the zoo with his father. He liked monkeys, so he took bananas with him for the monkeys. And then you would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'd find the ten. You can check Wonderful. it. Wonderful! <gasps> then you can go on. near the monkeys and gave bananas to a big monkey. <gasps> you figure out how many he gave to the monkey. So it looks like one, two, three. Fantastic! He gave bananas to a small monkey. One, two. And you just go ahead and listen to the story the whole time and it's gonna not have you really work on number sentences but what i want you to do is i want you to write number sentences from the stories so if you know he gave um three to the big monkey and two to the little one you could write three plus two and then put up your fingers for this quick one three fingers and two fingers equals five or you could do five equals three plus two so you can either write your number sentence whole equals part plus part or part plus part equals whole. Just read one story or have um, them read one story. And what I want you to do is figure out the two add-ins or the two parts to your number sentence. Go ahead and have a great day. I'll see you later.